What's up guys, this is Nicodemus from Droid Cheats again. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to root and install custom recovery on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7 inch. That's either the P3113, P3110, or the P3100. If you need a little extra help for this video, you can click on the link in the description that will take you to my original video on how to root and add a custom recovery on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. So here is the latest method on how to root and add a custom recovery on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. Okay, first of all, let me prove to you that I am on the latest over-the-air update. Clicking on About Device, you can see that right there, Android 4.2.2. And this is the stock 4.2.2. The first link in the description will take you to the Samsung.com website where you can download Samsung keys. And this is basically uh, iTunes for your Android, for your Samsung. Now, the reason I'm asking you to download that if you haven't already is that has the drivers that you're going to need for your computer to talk with your Galaxy Tab. So download and install that. And once you're done, the next thing you're going to do is click on the second link in the description it will take you to the latest version of Odin for your Samsung Galaxy Tab. He's right here, you see Odin 3.07 is here. Click on that and you will download Odin 3.07. I already have it and we move on to the next step. The next link in the description takes you to Chainfire's thread at xdadevelopers.com where he has provided you with the CF auto root file. What you need to do is scroll down into the second post third post here and you have different files for different versions of your Galaxy Tab so pay attention and make sure you download the right one 3100, 3110, 3113 download the correct version I have the 3113 and I have already downloaded this file it takes you to this page here the download is down at the bottom and the last link in the description will take you to this thread at xdadevelopers.com where user Joe Internet has provided us with the twerp 2.6.1 touch recovery for the GT P311X meaning P3110 or the P3100 so it is my understanding that this version does not work with the P3100 just the P3110 and the P3113 if you have a P3100 and you need a custom recovery, look at my link in the description for my video on how to install CyanogenMod 10.2 for the Samsung Galaxy Tab. And in that video, I provide you with a link on the latest version of Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is compatible with the P3100. So that is it for that part. You've downloaded all the files that you need. Next thing we need to do is go to our downloads, uh, wherever you've downloaded Odin at, and you need to take that folder, which is what I do anyway. I take the folder and I put it on my desktop. Open up the folder, and then here we have Odin version 3.07. Right click and run as administrator, and here you have the latest version of Odin. Auto reboot, you can leave it checked. You don't need to check anything on here. You can leave it the way it is. It's going to came it's going to come up the same way each time. You do need to click here on PDA. That is where you're going to place the file. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to root the device first. And to do that, we're going to go to our download folder. Then inside here we have the CF auto root expresso file. And I'm going to take that and just put it on the desktop and take it, unzip the file. I already have it there. I'll just replace the file on the destination. That's fine. Um, and we'll minimize that for now. Over here, click on PDA and go to desktop because that's where I just extracted the MD5 file. Well, it's a tar file for our auto root, CF auto root. Double click on that. Now, over here on the device, we need to boot up into the download mode, or downloader mode, however you want to call it. Volume down and power button. 
hold those two together and I took a screenshot but it will also reboot the device the custom OS can cause critical problems blah 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 the next step is to hit volume up now you're in download mode so now we can plug in the device and over here on the computer you can see ID com com7 it was added it says right here it's added so it is connected to Odin now it's ready to go we have the file under PDA we have not messed with this and it's time to click start and what will happen is the CF auto root will install a temporary recovery a temporary custom recovery to gain root access and then it will put the regular recovery back and that's the reason why I wanted to do the auto root first before we put our custom recovery on the device so you just click start and that's it it says reset which is what the Galaxy Tab is doing right now. Okay, as you can see right here, it came up and now it's in its custom recovery that it made. It rooted, it restored the stock recovery, cleaned up some files, formatted the cache, all that stuff. Okay, that part's done. Now, unplug your device and we need to put it back in the download mode so volume down power button hold the both and until this pops up then you let go hit volume up we're back in download mode we can plug the device back in and over here on Odin we need to change this PDA file. Okay, it was waiting for it to hook back up. And now I can click on reset and let it connect. Well, it's already connected. Click on PDA again, go to downloads. We find our recovery that we downloaded. And here's the file that we downloaded, GTP3113 twerp 2.6.1.0. That's still in my download folder, so I'll click on PDA, go to my downloads, find that file, and here it is. And it will load up right here. And make sure everything else is correct, which it is. And now we can go ahead and flash our twerp recovery, and which this is a lot better than the uh, I guess it's personal preference, but this is a touch base recovery. So, clicking on start, and it will install it for you. Okay, that was quick and easy. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to the Play Store and download an app. Alright, give me one second and I will set up my account so I can download an app from the Play Store. Okay, so now what we can do is download an app that will check to see if we have root access. Root checker. It's acting a little slow right now because I just put my Google account on there and it's trying to sync everything in the background. So anyway, we click on our root checker program. In order to da 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 da, I agree. It says verify root access. You click on the button. It says please wait. System's running very slow, which, like I said, it is because it's right in the middle of trying to. Okay, you got super user request. Grant access. Congratulations, this device has root access. So there you go. Now you know 100% for sure your device has root access by using that app. And that's it. I will boot up into our twerp recovery real quick to show you what that looks like. Now, volume down in the power button is how you got into download mode. Volume up in the power button. Hold those. This is how you get into your custom recovery. 
you wait until the Samsung logo comes up and then goes away. Now you can let go and it will boot up into the twerp recovery. Okay, there you go. See, with this recovery, you've actually got a battery level. I'll tell you what your battery level is. Uh, you've got m many more settings, and you've got a home and a back button right here. See, there's home. And it's all touch. Anything I want to install. And as you can see right here, it's version 2.6.1. Uh, as far as I found, that is the latest version you can get at the moment, especially for the Samsung Galaxy Tab. So that's it. I hope it was pretty easy for you. Uh, if you're worried about rooting your device, I mean, you just saw me do it. Follow the steps exactly as I showed you, and you should be fine. Although I make no guarantees because weird things happen. One thing I want to say is make sure that you have your device charged before you do this. And also, make sure that when you are connecting your device to the computer, try not to use USB 3.0 slots. You may not have a problem, but it's always better to use uh, older USB 2.0 slots. So if you have a newer computer and you got USB slots that are blue looking in the front, don't use those. Look on the back of your computer for some other USB slots that are not blue in color, and those are USB 2.0, so make sure you use those. Anyway, that's it for now. This has been Nicodemus from Droid Sheets. If you like it, make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.